Okay, we're back with our art project that has to do with popcorn and spring. Boys and girls, in spring, things start to grow again. Trees start to slowly get little buds on them. And one tree that's really popular in the spring is called a cherry blossom tree. And we're gonna do an art project that looks like a cherry blossom tree. This one, I used brown paint. So if you have some brown paint, you can use it and popcorn and some green watercolor paint and then I use blue construction paper. Feel free to change this up though. If you don't have popcorn, you can use pieces of ripped paper, tissue paper, you can use brown crayons, green crayons, whatever you have at home. So we're gonna turn this into a spring cherry blossom tree. And these are supposed to be the little blossoms on the tree. See how I painted them pink a little bit? Piece of popcorn. So Addison is here today and she is going to start the art project while I talk her through it. First, you're going to use your brown paint or your brown crayon to make a tree trunk. Start from the bottom and she's working her way up to about the middle of the paper. Remember when we're using watercolors to make sure you have enough water on your paintbrush. And that makes it spread a little easier. Help you out move it a little bit closer. Yeah. There we go. Okay, once you get your tree trunk, you're gonna want to make branches coming up off of your trunk, going in different directions. Branches to go up towards the top of the paper and branch out. Again, boys and girls, when we do these art projects with you, I know we don't all have the same kind of supplies at our house. So you can always change it up. If you don't have blue paper, you can use white paper. If you don't have paint, you can use crayons or markers. You can be creative. Mm -hmm. You can always change the art pro projects to fit what materials you have at your house. Addison's doing a great job. She's almost done with the branches. And then it's gonna be time to switch over to some green watercolor paint. And she's gonna make just little, I'll move over here and show you, little dots kind of for the green leaves that are just beginning to grow in the springtime back onto the trees. We know in the winter, the branches are bare and spring things start to grow new again. So just a little bit of green dot on the branches. Not too many because spring, they're just starting to grow. So, if you're doing leaves or flowers, you can also use different shades of green because there's different kinds of leaves. So, if you have one color of green and you can use another color of green, just so that you have all kinds of leaves. 
All right, Addison's tree's looking great. She's getting ready to add the popcorn now. So you're gonna need your popped popcorn and a real glue bottle. Okay, if you don't have popcorn, you can do tissue paper, you could do pieces of construction paper, you can even just use a crayon and color in some um, cherry blossoms. And typically they are pink. So at the end, we're gonna brush some of that popcorn with a little bit of pink paint. Just do little dots. Because if you do a lot, then it's gonna spread everywhere. Wow, this is looking like a beautiful spring tree. Also, make sure you send those pictures because we want to see your beautiful art. All right, Addison's going to put a little bit on the ground like they fell off the tree and they're going to the ground. I'll move over and show you this one. And then her last step is going to be to take some of her pink paint. If I get really close, you can see mine. And put a little bit of pink onto the popcorn. Okay, and boys and girls, don't forget to sign your name on it at the mm -hmm. very end because we want to know it's yours. Mm -hmm. All right, are you ready for the pink? Yep. Okay, so she has some little different kinds of paints over here that she's gonna open one up and kind of just dab the pink onto the popcorn. And when you're done, and if you wanna make any changes, you could go back in and make some changes. You can use darker pink, lighter pink, whatever color you want to use. Usually cherry blossoms like are like a dark pink like this, but you can use light pink too. All right, boys and girls, we can't wait to see the final products and see if you try the popcorn five senses what a fun day just using popcorn and a little bit of art supplies talk to you soon boys and girls bye bye